Pop Quiz on a Monday. Um, for any of those who are still playing the last Rumpa Rum Challenge, I hope you're still in it. I know I'm still in it for both of them. Uh, but yeah, how you living out there? Uh, <laughs> Sova, you had a foot massage? You were correct. I was supposed to be on like a few weeks ago, but I had the Rona. So yeah, I was a uh, long overdue to be back so yeah, how y'all living out there? I'm glad you get a foot uh, massage because you uh, guess, but you're not you're not quite like you're not a hundred percent wrong though because uh, you know the melodica master is in the background doing all those things. So we're both here, we're both here. Just only see my face. That's all. Anyway, how you living? How's your holidays going? Um, happy Hanukkah to those who celebrate. Happy um, early days of Christmas for those who celebrate. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Don Rico Sawe in the background. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm just going to refer to them as producer. But, you know, you know. You know in your heart who it is now. Like. <laughs> Anyway, as always, we got seven rounds of pub quiz for you. A few of them are set by me. You got your audio round. You got your visual round. You got all of the fun in the world. So what's everyone drinking out there? I just got me a regular old Coke. Like... <laughs> so, yeah. And maybe during the break, I'll go get one of those cut water... Um, uh, pre-made drinks because I do have some of their uh, whiskey whiskey mules uh, so peanut butter chocolate beer oh my gosh wow ice water sounds really good right now sounds really good I should also be having ice water hey Graviso thank you for the sub it's up for 42 months 42 months oh my god that's almost two years oh my god Numi, that's three and a half years. I can't. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I can't math. <laughs> Don't ask me math questions. I'm bad at math. This is why I lose Marvel Snap a lot because, like, I forget to be like the bad thing math and then I try to go for it and I lose. Like, like because I went because I went in my. You know what I did? I, I <laughs> my brain was like twenty four is one year. I was like, no, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now that I'm done with all the bad math questions, I'm glad I'm not grading your uh, quizzes, but computers do that now. Anyway, uh, I can't believe we've been doing it for that long. Like, damn, like three and a half years. Good Lord. Good Lord. Anyway, I digress. If you're ready for the quiz, uh, let's put a cheers in the chat and we'll get ready for round number one. Alrighty, folks, round number one is called The Crest of Both Worlds because today is International Mountain Day. So here's eight questions on international mountains. All right, for question number one, 98% of climbers either take the Northeast Ridge through China or the Southeast Ridge through Nepal when summiting a what 29,000 footer? Question number one, one more time. 98% of climbers either take the Northeast Ridge through China or the Southeast Ridge through Nepal when summiting a what 29,000 footer? All right, is Jerry Oki in the chat? Because uh, usually he does it, but if not, I don't know. And Lord Thunderfunk did it for a while, but I don't know if they're doing it either. So, um, Mounty McMount Face. Is it one of those, like, uh, we're going to make you wait? No, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. What side of the internet am I on? I don't know. Here's question number two. 
Formerly seen on Toblerone packages, what Swiss Italian mountain is best known over here for its 100th scale replica in Disneyland? Question number two, one more time, formerly seen on Toblerone packages, what Swiss Italian mountain is best known over here for its, excuse me, 100th scale replica in Disneyland? That the Toblerone package has a bear in it. Like, I didn't know that until today. I was reading one of those, like, listicles that get advertised on uh, Facebook, and they're like, hey, there's a bear in a Toblerone logo. And I was like, oh, there is. So, yeah, the more you know, so if, ever, if someone ever asked a question, like, what chocolate brand has a beer in his logo? Now you know it's Toblerone. Any Uzi Watsi, we can head on over to question number three. Speaking of the Alps, uh, this year, Courtney DeWaller won the uh, Ultra Trail du Mont Blanc, a 108-mile foot race through Italy, Switzerland, in what third country? Question number three, one more time. Speaking of Alps, this year, Courtney DeWaller won the Ultra Trail du Mont Blanc, a 108 mile foot race through Italy, Switzerland, and what third country? Moving on to question number four. Named after a fictional Wyoming peak, what snubbed mid-aughts Best Picture nominee was actually shot in the very romantic Canadian Rockies? Question number four, one more time. Named after a fictional Wyoming peak, what snubbed mid-aughts Best Picture nominee was actually shot in the very romantic Canadian Rockies? Yeah, you should drink some more water if you're going to be in higher elevations. As a person who's been a few times in Denver, it can get you. It can sneak up on you. So, you know. All right, for question number five. At the time known as Bolshoya Gora, literally Russian for Big Mountain, what tallest Russian peak suddenly became the tallest U.S. peak in 1867? One more time, question number five. At the time, known as Bolshaya Gora, literally a Russian for Big Mountain, what tallest Russian peak suddenly became the tallest U.S. peak in 1867? You're fed. I mean, it wasn't nothing to me. It wasn't nothing to me when I was up at like um, up a mile high. Like I thought, I thought I was going to be fine. But then, like we were walking around, I got my steps in that day, and by the time we got to like the last bar, I was like, "I need water. I'm tired. How y'all live like this?" <laughs> but I guess you just get used to it. Any Uzi Watsi, moving on to question number six. Uh. Hades Shinda LaSalle and be uh, range becomes the Sierra de Balruco range as it leads heads east into what Spanish speaking republic? Or question number six uh, one more time. Uh, Hades uh, Shin de la Sel becomes the Sierra de Balruco. Uh, range as it heads east into what Spanish speaking republic? All right, yeah, I don't know how you can live in 7K feet like that. That would do me in. 
and would do me in for question number seven your penultimate question of round number one in 1998 argentina and chile agreed to have their border pass over fitzroy a mountain in what region that's also the name of a puffy vest proprietor Question number seven, one more time. In 1998, Argentina and Chile agreed to have their border pass over Fitzroy, a mountain in what region that's also the name of a puffy vest proprietor. Finally, moving on to question number eight. Understandably, the least visited of the seven summits, Vincent Massive technically lies in no country as it's the highest point on what continent? Question number eight, one more time. Understandably, the least visited of the seven summits, Vincent Massive technically lies in no country as it's the highest point on what continent? Just saying that for no reason. Anywho, that does it for all our questions of round number one, except for our bonus question. We do this five times during the night where you have a chance to win $5 to use at the Geeks Drink Shopatorium and a chance at the end of the night to win a box of swag filled with Geeks Who Dreams merchandise and all that jazz. All you got to do is put an exclamation point in the answer. You'll have up until I read the answer to question number seven to submit those answers and then we'll go over it once again and draw our winner so your bonus question for round number one uh and one on um, interplanetary mountains olympus mons pokes over 14 miles above the surface of what planet it looks like we got some correct answers coming down the pipeline remember you have up until i read the answer to question number seven to submit. So let's get into your answers for round number one, the crest of both worlds. For question number one, 98% of climbers take the Northeast Ridge through China or the Southeast Ridge through Nepal when summiting Mount Everest. For question number two, formerly seen on Toblerone packages, what Swiss Italian mountain is best known over here for its 100 scale replica in Disneyland? That would be the Matterhorn. For question number three, speaking of Alps, this year's Courtney DeWaller won the Ultra Trail du Mont Blanc, a 108 mile foot race through Italy. Switzerland and France. For question number four, named after a fictional Wyoming peak, the snubbed mid aughts Best Picture nominee that was actually shot in the very romantic Canadian Rockies is Brokeback Mountain. For question number five, at the time known as Bolshoya Gora, literally Russian for Big Mountain, the tallest peak, the tallest Russian peak that became the tallest U.S. peak. And 1867 is Denali. Or Mount McKinley, if you like the dead name mountains, you know. For question number six, Hades uh, Shindacel range becomes the Sierra Baruco range as it heads east into the Spanish-speaking Dominican Republic. For question number seven, in 1998, Argentina and Chile agreed to have their border pass over Fitzroy, a mountain in the Patagonia mountain range. 
And lastly, question number eight. Understand, believe, the least of visited of the seven summits. Vincent Massive technically lies in no country as it's the highest point in Antarctica. And finally, your bonus question once again. Well, this one on interplanetary mountains, Olympus Mons pokes over 14 miles above the surface of Mars. That is round number two, your music audio round. It's called formerly known as Lil Nas Twitter because it's at a bunch of songs that we're pretty sure are referencing popular apps. Name the artists and titles for one point apiece, as usual. See you on the flip side. If it's a camera up in here, and it's only you put me where I do, I do. If it's a camera up in here, and I best like I just look on YouTube, YouTube. Cause if I know you turned your back on me just to get some wrecks. I seen you swerve back, cause I'm in the black back. New diamonds on me, a flash, just ain't Snapchat. Cause I've been getting paid. Yellow diamonds on me look like lemonade. Got my baby mama that new Bentayga. Tryna get a dojo like a sensei. I'm the hood, Mona Lisa, break a nigga into pieces Had to egg some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza yeah. I'm way too exclusive, I don't shop on Insta boutiques All them little clothes only fit fake booties Bad, bad, real talking cash Be like water, I'm a mother and relaxing I show them how to network And Netflix and chill, what's your net, net, network? Cause I want you and I need you, and I'm down for you always. Yeah, 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 and I'm down for you always. Yeah, 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 and I'm down for you, down, down for you, down, down for you always. It's packed in a jam like a closet beach Bound to get you up cold flowing like a faucet I like the way you comb your hair uh, I like the stylish clothes you wear uh, It's just the little things you do uh, That makes me want to get with you Top down, feeling the sounds, quaking and vibrating your thighs, riding harder than guys with the chrome wheels at the bottom, white leather inside. We like them boys that be in them legs, leaning, leaning, open them out, they grill, gleaming, gleaming, candy paint, keep that whip, cleaning, cleaning, they always be talking that country slang, we like. Tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock, if it's a camera up in here, then it's only you put me where I do, I do. If it's a camera up in here, then I best like I just look on YouTube, YouTube. Close up here on your mouth and brag about the secret rendezvous. I will hunt you down. I know you turned your back on me just to get some wrecks. I seen you swerve back, cause I'm in the black back. New diamonds on me, a flash, just ain't Snapchat. Cause I've been getting paid. Yellow diamonds on me, look like lemonade. Got my baby mama that new Bentayga. Tryna get.
the dojo like a sensei. I'm the hood, Mona Lisa, break a nigga in the pieces Had to act some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza I'm way too exclusive, I don't shop on Insta boutiques All them little clothes only fit fake booties Bad, bad, real talking cash Be like water, I'm a mother and relaxing I show them how to network and that, 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 It's packed in a jam like a closet beach Bound to get you up cold flowing like a faucet I like the way you comb your hair uh, I like the stylish clothes you wear uh, It's just the little things you do uh, That makes me want to get with you uh, All I want to do is on my zone, zone, zone Man, I boom, boom With the top down, feeling the sounds Quaking and vibrating your thighs Riding harder than guys with the chrome wheels at the bottom I'm white love inside. We like them boys that be in them like leaning, leaning. Open them out, they grill gleaming, gleaming. Candy paint, keep that whip cleaning, cleaning. Always be talking that country slang. We like. Tick tock, you don't stop. Stop to the heart. Tick tock, you don't stop. Stop to the heart. Tick tock, you don't stop. Stop to the heart. Tick tock, you don't stop. Stop to the heart. Alrighty. Well, one thing I can tell you folks, none of the answers are Rihanna. So if you guess that, it's not there. Anyway. All right. I lied about getting uh, the cut water. I saw that um, of my line of Topo Chico drinks in my fridge that uh, this exotic pineapple was, um, you know, the one that I had the most of. So I'm going to have this. It's nice. It's refreshing. So that's how we're going to do. Anyway. We're moving back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Liesl Corpse. Um, any who's what see, we're moving on to your answers for round number two, formerly known as Lil Nas. Ooh, formerly known as Lil Nas Twitter. I almost said Lil Nas X, but I get it. Anyway, your bonus question. Your wow, bonus. What am I playing? Well, question number one is "Touch My Body" by Mariah Carey. Number two is "Ballin'" by Mustard featuring Roddy Rich. Number three is Savage by Megan the Stallion. Question number four, my feelings by Drake. Or in my feelings, you say. Number five is Express Yourself by Madonna. Six is Rump Shaker by Reckon Effect. Number seven is Soldier by Destiny's Child featuring T.I. and Lil Wayne. And that's I Wanna Sex You Up by Color Me Bad. All right, folks, we're moving on to around number three. Round number three is called Listen, Pioneer Angels Singing. Because we're going to do some well-known holiday songs from the lyrics, but we've done that thing where we've ran the lyrics through Google Translate a bunch of times. So, you know, how it goes. 
Well, let me see. All right, number one is City Streets. Busy roads are ready for vacation. The smell of Christmas is in the air. <laughs> As the children smile, I saw one smile after another. You hear it on every street corner. A silver ring. A silver ring. <laughs> Why, why, why are you doing this to me, geeks? I like Christmas songs. I like Christmas songs. Why y'all doing this to me? Anyway, one more time. Question number one. City streets, busy roads, ready for vacation. The smell of Christmas is in the air. As the children smiled, I saw one smile after another. You hear it on every street corner. A silver ring. A silver ring. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, folks, let's move on to question number two. I fantasized the Clean Christmas album. As I understand it, the trees that shine and listen to children. You hear the sound of sledding in the snow. <laughs> Question number two, one more time. I fantasize the clean Christmas album. As I understand it, that trees shine and listen to children. You hear the sound of sledding in the snow. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, Guile's theme. Because Guile's theme goes with everything. Remember that internet trend? That's how old I am. I remember that internet trend. Guile's theme goes with anything. Now, the problem is, anytime I try to remember Guile's theme, sometimes I accidentally remember Ryu's theme or Ken's theme. So, so that's why I didn't like... Um... And today is a good day to Carol. It is. It's always a good day to Carol. Like, you, you know, uh, like, that's what I think. Anyway, let's move on to question number three. Then I saw her hugging Santa Claus under the beard that is was white as snow. What a smile if you can see. Your father, Santa Claus, and kissed his mother last night. Wait, what? <laughs> Question number three, one more time. Then I saw her hugging Santa under the beard as it was white as snow. Oh, what a smile if you can see your father. Santa Claus kissed his mother last night. <laughs> CompuServe CDs? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do remember CompuServe CDs. I do. I do, I do, I do. -oo. All right. Uh, let me see. For question number four of uh, your song you want uh, Bells, 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 ringing stones. Ring the bell when it rings. Dancing and practicing at the Jingle Bell Arena. The air is cold. <laughs> Question number four, one more time. Bells, 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 ringing stones. Ring the bell when it rings. Dancing and practicing at the Jingle Bell Arena. The air is cold. Oh my god! Oh, uh, this is the Christmas song. And, and, and no worry, we're not we're not gonna mess you up. We like j just so you know, we don't have any of the last parumpa pum pums in here. So just like you won't lose that, you won't lose that. Like anyway, <laughs> just gonna let you know that. Just gonna let you know that. Yes, if you want to hear like. Chaz's bad Google Translate remixes of your favorite Christmas songs coming to an album near you. Here's question number five. All right. 
Have merry elf Christmas. Have a gay Christmas. Next year, all our problems will be kilometers. <laughs> oh, goodness. Question number five. One more time. Have merry elf Christmas. Have a gay Christmas. Next year, all our problems will be kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call jazz cards. <laughs> <laughs> jazz, what are the chances of getting an all Micah Melodica music round one day? I don't know. Next time he hosts, you should ask him. <laughs> Never ask him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But we're moving on to question number six. Oh, pain, pain, pain spinning. I made a clay mess. And when it dry, it's ready. So I played on the carousel. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't. More, more question number six. One more time. Oh, pain, pain spinning. I made a clay mess. And when it's dry, it's ready. So I played on the carousel. It's, is Mike and Root with us right now? You got your Ouija board? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Mike in the chair. Brum, brum, brum. All right. Okay, I don't know, know if I can get like the song to this one, but I'm gonna try. For question number seven, and said night wind to the goat. What do you see? What do I see? The sky lamb. Do you know what I saw? Stars, stars dance in the night with the tail the size of a dragon. <laughs> All right, question number seven once again. Said night went to the gold. What do you see? What do I see? The sky lamb. Do you know what I saw? Stars, stars dance in the night with the tail the size of a dragon. <laughs> Google shares like you're drunk. <laughs> And this one, this one, you know what? It always like this is the this is the one holiday song for question number eight precursor that I don't really know that well. So we're just gonna say it. We're just gonna say it. for question number eight. For those who know, do not forget, and you remember it. Should knowledge be forgotten in long days for a long time? My love, friendship, but will last forever. He still drink the cup of mercy because of his vision. <laughs> and all melodic around. I could I could be into it. I could be into it. So for question number eight, one more time. Uh those who know do not forgive, and you never remember it, should knowledge be forgotten? In long days for a long time, my love, friendship will last forever. We still drink the cup of mercy because of his vision. Yeah, it's funny that like this song has lyrics and people like do it every year, but it's one that I never I never put on the list. I second that emotion. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right. That's all of our Google Translate questions, except for our bonus question. As always, the answer, pull an exclamation point 
Um, the answer in the chat, F is more than one word. You got to put them all together as one string. Like, you know, most people's internet um, handles and all that, which I always read as one word anyway. But, you know, uh, you have up until we read the answer to question number seven to submit. And that's a doobly-doo. So your bonus question is the following. My grandma was bitten by an Arctic snake. They went home on Christmas Day. Don't say no to Santa Claus, but grandfather and I had faith. <laughs> For your bonus question, one more time. My grandmother was bitten by an Arctic snake. They went home on Christmas Day. Don't say no to Santa Claus, but grandfather and I have faith. All right, looks like we got a lot of correct answers coming down the pipeline. So you know what to do. Put it in the doobly-doo, and we'll see you after this with your answers to round three and the bonus question. For question number one, your answer... City streets, busy roads, ready for vacation. The smell of Christmas is in the air. As the children smiled, I saw one another, one smile after another. Yep. <laughs> Damn, all right. <laughs> silver bells, silver bells. <laughs> for question number one, a fan side's clean Christmas album. As I understand it, trees that shine and listen to children, you know the sound of sliding in the snow. That is a white Christmas. <laughs> Or question number three. Then I saw her hugging Santa under the beard, white as snow. Oh, what a smile. I can see your father. Santa Santa Claus kissed her mother last night. That is, I saw mommy sit, uh, kissing Santa Claus, which was just your dad dressed as Santa Claus. Like, it's not scandalous. <laughs> All right, question number four. Bells, bells, ringing stones, ring the bells when it rings. Dancing and practicing at the Jingle Bell Arena. The air is cold. It's light time. It's right time to rock the night away because it's Jingle Bell Rock. Oh, I love that song. I might listen to it after this. Four, question number five. Have a merry elf Christmas. Have a gay Christmas. Next year, all our problems will be kilometers. That is, have a, yourself a merry little Christmas. I do love how they translate. Next year, all our trouble will be miles away. <laughs> all our troubles will be kilometers. Like, what? <laughs> oh, God. For question number six. Oh, pain, 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 spinning. I made a clay mess, and when this try is ready, so I played on the carousel. That is, of course, the dreidel song. Because dreidel, 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 made out of clay. When it's dry and ready, then dreidel, I will play. What the? Wait, dreidel is carousel? Like, what? Okay. Moving on, question number seven. Said night went to the goat. What do you see? What do I see? The sky lamb. Do you know what I saw? Stars. Stars dancing at night with a tail the size of a dragon. That is, do you hear what I hear? Also another one of my favorite Christmas songs. And finally, question number eight. Those who know, do not forget, and you never remember it, should knowledge be forgotten in long days or for a long time? That is old Lang Syne. Which I forget has lyrics and has a name, but you know. Anyway, happy new year for those who celebrate. All right, moving on to your bonus question answer. This one was, of course, my grandmother was bitten by an Arctic snake and went home on Christmas Day. Though don't say no to Santa Claus, but grandmother, grandfather, and I have faith that his grandma got ran over by a reindeer. That's right. Walking home from my house on Christmas Eve. Can't say no such thing as Santa. But as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Moving on to question number, or round number four, I should say. Round four. Goodness. Where's my bird? Anyway, dude, where's my agar? The round on food substitutes. Yeah. You like to substitute your food? This is the round for you. So for question number one, you can neatly dodge gluten by replacing wheat noodles with zoodles, a fun to say form of what squash? For question number one, one more time, you can neatly dodge gluten by replacing wheat noodles with zoodles, 
um, the most fun to say form of what squash. Yep, I mean, I did like this is like one of my favorite veggies. Although maybe it's technically a fruit, but I don't know. Anyway, I think most of my favorite veggies are technically fruit. Anyway, moving along to question number two. A cauliflower crust can help pizza fit into what popular diet that was originally designed to treat epilepsy? Question number two, one more time. A cauliflower crust can help pizza fit into what popular diet? That was originally designed to treat epilepsy. Moving on to question number three. If you're looking for deeper umami with less perceived saltiness, Food Network says swap tamari for what condiment you've probably got 27 packets of in your fridge. Or go watch the number three one more time. If you're looking for deeper umami with less perceived saltiness, Food Network says you should swap tamari for what condiment that you've probably got 27 packets of in your fridge. You know what? This reminds me that Sun Noodle has these noodle packs that I can get from a local market. But the local market or maybe Sun Noodle have figured out that they're like actually good because they were only like six bucks, which is like super expensive for ramen. But Sun Ramen makes like most of like the good noodles that um, all the ramen restaurants across the United States and in even internationally use. So I was like, yeah, no, this is good. I remember I used to go to a Chinese, not well, ooh, not a Chinese food restaurant, um, a Asian market. They used to have them too. But then I went there recently, and it shot up like three dollars. I'm like, this is an inflation. Y'all just greedy. Like, I guess it can be both, but you know. Anyway, moving on to question number four: almond, coconut, or oat? Which plant-based milk generated the highest U.S. sales last year? Zebra <laughs> Umami has the second place finisher for Smokey Robinson's new album title. I like it. I like it. You know what? I need I need some content could be called Deep Umami. Maybe I should paint that. Anyway, I digress. Question number four. One more time. Almond, coconut, or oats. Which plant-based green milk generated the highest US sales last year? Should it really be called milk, though? I mean, I know basically what you do is, like, you soak. Like, eat, well, at least for, like, two of those. Like, I think you soak. Uh, or maybe it's just oak. I actually don't know how most of these are made. So, let me shut up. Like... <laughs> 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 no, nah, nut milk is only funny if you're in seventh grade, right? Like... <laughs> <laughs> they ain't making it you talk. <laughs> anyway, moving on to question number five. Cassava flour is a fine grain substitute, but in Latin America, they'd rather turn the whole plant into delicious fries and call it what Y name? Oh, question number five, one more time. Cassava flour is a fine grain substitute, but in Latin America, they'd rather turn the whole plant into delicious fries and call it what Y name? It's a cow, I don't make the milk. <laughs> I mean, I won't lie, I do like an oat milk latte. Like an oat milk latte, be hidden. And I mean, I was like back when I was making myself um like those blender bottle shakes, I did get some like some oats and some almond milk and put it all together with some uh, peanut butter. So, you know, you know, it's got its place. Oh, it's place. Anywho, moving on to question number six. The flavor will be off, but you can get the classic golden color for paella 
and a St. Lucie's Day buns by using turmeric instead of what much dearer spice? Or question number six. <clears throat> the flavor will be off, but you can get the classic golden color for paella and St. Lucie's Day buns by using turmeric instead of what much dearer spice. I mean, just make sure you pick up your Hitman Lee or Hitman Chan while you're there. Same. If you know, you know. My milk is whiskey. That is such an American thing to say. And I was about, like, also, how long have alternate milks been around? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, coconut milk has been around for ages. But when I was younger, I never saw any commercials or heard of anybody making almond milk or oat milk. But nowadays, it's like, it's everywhere. Like, I can't go anywhere without hearing about it. So, you know, let me know. <laughs> was Sabrina the gym leader there? Yes, she was. Yes, she was. All right, moving on to question number seven, a vegan meringue time. The viscous liquid you get by soaking chickpeas and other legumes goes by what name? That sounds like a knockoff of bottled water. Question number seven, one more time, a vegan meringue time. The viscous liquid you get by soaking chickpeas and other legumes goes by what name? That sounds like a knockoff of bottled water. <laughs> no, you're bad. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't know, then it's just like, why are you making up? Why are you just saying random words? Right? Like, but if you know, you know. Anyway, I know somebody should get question number eight right, though, because of their recent comment. Anywho. For question number eight, out of vanilla extract, Food 52 suggests adding kick to your cookies with Blanton's, Buffalo Trace, or any other brand of what all American booze. For question number eight, one more time, out of vanilla extract, Food 52 suggested adding kick to your cookies with Blanton's, Buffalo Trace, and, or any other brand of what all American booze. <laughs> what? Man, if you cook a cookie with plants and I'm coming to your house while you sleep for crimes. <laughs> Water, right? I got you. I see. I see you, Metal Yoga. And I see you. Anyway, your bonus question is the following Auger is a, a common ingredient in the deserts across Asia. Desserts. I got to give my bro, like my brain did not. I always do that. Jesus, two S's. Thank you. Auger is a common ingredient in desserts across Asia. It's also great for DIY dupes uh, of what moldable Hasbro stuff. Because I was like, like Asia has a lot of deserts. I thought it made sense. <laughs> Anyway, your bonus question one more time. Auger is a common ingredient in desserts across Asia. It's also great for DIY dupes of what moldable Hasbro stuff. Even though I fucked it up. Y'all know what it is. You got to tell round number or question number seven to submit your answers. Exclamation point doobly do. But you got it. I don't need I, I don't need to tell you all that. Y'all y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all know. Anyway. Hasbro just cut 1,100 jobs tonight. Wait, Hasbro cut 1,100 jobs tonight? 20% what? What 20% of his workforce are are we not buying enough toys? We not buying enough toys? Did millennials ruin Christmas anyway? <laughs> this is why I can't take my ass nowhere. Anyway, moving along to your answers to round number four. Dude, where's my agar? 
Bowler question number one. You can neatly dodge gluten by replacing wheat noodles with zoodles. The most fun to say form of zucchini. Like, fried zucchini is lit, though. Like, I want to make some fried zucchini, damn it. Maybe I will. Bowler question number two. A uh, cauliflower, uh, cauliflower crust can help pizza fit into the popular keto diet or ketogenic if you're nasty. All right, moving on to question number three. If you're looking for deeper umami with less perceived saltiness, Food Network says to swap tamari for soy sauce or shoyu. Or question number four. Almond, coconut, or oat, the plant-based milk that generated the highest U.S. sales and not being killed by millennials is almond. But we'll probably kill that, too. Four question number five. Cassava flour is a fine grain substitute in Latin America. They turn the whole plant into delicious fries known as yucca fries. Yeah, they're pretty good. I've had some. For question number six, the flavor will be off, but you can get the classic golden color for paella and St. Lucie Day's buns by using turmeric instead of saffron. For question number seven, <clears throat> vegan merengue time. The viscous liquid you get by soaking chickpeas and other legumes goes by the name aquafaba, which is not your father's liquid. Um, for question number eight, out of uh, vanilla extract, uh, Food 52 suggests adding kick to your cookies with Blanton's, uh, Buffalo Trace, and any other brand of bourbon. <laughs> yeah, the great camo. Like, I, I, see, I got you. I got you. I know what I'm doing. Anyway, your bonus question once again. For, good luck to all those who entered. Auger is a um, um mm, a common ingredient in desserts across Asia, and is also great for DIY dupes of Play-Doh because Play-Doh is edible, y'all. Like for real. Round number five, video round, like all wrecking bugle because Angry Birds was released on this day in 2009. So name these movies who buildings they're knocking down to. Oh, Jin, Jin. It's right here, Miss Crawley. I've got it.
first angle of thrust. Steady now. Straighten up. Steady. Miss Crawley, I've got it. Let's go over to his answer for round number five, like a wrecking ball. Number one is Spectre. Number two is Spider Man across the Spider Verse. <coughs> Number three is Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Number four is a Sing. Number five is a video game that did not need a movie, Rampage. Number six is a monster house. For question number seven, if you follow us at Geeks Who Drink on Facebook, you know that Tenet was the answer of the day. Nah, nah, we don't have with X anymore. And number eight is a grand day out with Wallace and Gromit. It's like, it's like, like, who else with X? We don't do X. And anyway, while we're sitting here, if you haven't played thrice yet, it's like our pub quiz version of Wordle. Just go on over to tricegame.com every day for new questions to challenge yourself, share your scores, and unleash your hidden genius. I almost... I, I almost got um all three like three like you can get um three two or one points for each one and I almost almost got a perfect score but I messed up on the last one. On an answer that was Louis Vuitton of all things. Anyway, I digress. For round number six, we're going into a mystery round. We haven't done these in a while, but it is sixteen points as usual. Each question will have two answers that, when combined, sound like the name of a character from a certain franchise. Figure out which one, and you'll be well on your way to answering the bonus question. All right. For question number one, Tracy Chapman won a long-delayed CMA this year for her song, Fast What? 
And in A New Hope, Darth Vader told the short-lived Admiral Mati, I find your what of faith disturbing. Well, that's your number one. One more time, Tracy Chapman won a long-delayed CMA this year for her song, Fast What? And in A New Hope, Darth Vader told the short-lived Admiral Mati, I find your what of faith disturbing. All right, now let's move on over to question number two. When Wendy first met Peter Pan, what thing did she sew back into his shoes? And pacemaker cells are only found in what human organ? Question number two, one more time. When Wendy first met Peter Pan, what thing did she sew back onto his shoes? Pacemaker, and for your second point, pacemaker cells are only found in what human organ? Or question number three, on May 1st, Hawaii has a statewide holiday dedicated to what floral neckwear, neckwear? And for your second point, what alphabetically challenged Venmo competitor is being forced to issue refunds to scam victims? Or question number three, one more time, on May 1st, Hawaii has a statewide holiday dedicated to what floral neckwear? And what alphabetically challenged Venmo competitor is being forced to issue refunds to scam victims? It's like Jamiroquai, but I don't know. I can't, I can't always hear the music that's going on in the background on my end. All right, folks, moving on to question number four. The richest Titanic passenger to perish was the descendant of real estate magnate John Jacob who? And in genealogy, what three-letter time unit is longer than an era and can last a half a billion years? Question number four. The richest Titanic passenger to perish was a descendant of real estate magnate John Jacob who? And in genealogy, what the three-letter time unit is longer than an era that can last a half a billion years? Moving on to question number five. The Daryl who sang Man Eater and the Monty who hosted Let's Make a Deal share what surname? And for your second point, what no good thing does the Catholic Church separate into venial, mortal, and original varieties? Question number five, one more time. The Daryl who sang Man Eater and the Monty who hosted Let's Make a Deal share what surname? For your second point, what no good thing does the Catholic Church separate into a uh, venial, mortal, and original variety? And he in his heel tonight. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All righty, moving along to question number six. In order to achieve that extra 90 degrees of rotation, what bird has seven extra vertebrae in its neck? And for your second point, when cocaine's not available, what big mammals are known to stalk helicopters because they love the smell of jet fuel? 
Question number six, one more time. In order to achieve that extra 90 degrees of rotation, what bird has seven extra vertebrae in its neck? And when cocaine's not available, what big mammals are known to stalk helicopters because they love the smell of jet fuel? Yeah, there you go. There's uh, question number five, part two. I'll read it one more time. What no good thing does the Catholic Church separate into venial, mortal, and original varieties? All right, moving on to your penultimate question of round number six, question and number seven. 68% of the energy in the universe is mysterious stuff called what? energy and in the 2000s no one really felt a compulsion to use what discontinued mtv music surface service sorry for question number seven one more time 68 percent of the energy in the universe is mysterious stuff called what energy and in the 2000s no one felt a compulsion to use what discontinued mtv music service You know, the one thing about Jamiroquai that, like, I I think, I thought Jamiroquai was one person, but isn't Jamiroquai, like, the band? band yes. Uh, yeah, all right, like. <laughs> JK is the guy. JK is the guy. Jamiroquai is the band. Uh, like, I was like, oh, wait, Jamiroquai's a band? It's not just that dude with the puppy hat. What? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> when I learned that, I was, like, mind blown. <laughs> like. <laughs> Anyway, moving along to your final question of round number six, not including the bonus. What five-letter city is the capital of Belarus? And what's the shoutable nickname of the little girl in Monsters, Inc.? Question number eight, one more time. What five-letter city is the capital of Belarus? And what's the shoutable nickname of the little girl in Monsters, Inc.? Go for the eyes. <laughs> anyway, here is your bonus question. You know, the deal estimation point, correct answer if it's more than one word, smushed them together. Got to tell I read the answer to question number seven to submit. Let's get into it. All of the characters in this round have some connection to do to what fantasy city state that's south of Waterdeep and north of Candledeep and always has trouble knocking on its... Uh, door i think y'all know anyway you got until round number question number seven to submit anyway here are your answers for the mystery round for question number one tracy chapman won a long delay uh cma this year for her song fast car and in A New Hope, Darth Vader told the short-lived Admiral Monty, I find your lack of faith disturbing. So, Carlac. It might be a character from something. Four, question number two. When Wendy first met Peter Pan, she sewed his shadow back into his shoes. And pacemaker's cells are only found in the human heart. So, Shadow Heart is the character for question number two. For question number three, on May 1st, Hawaii has a state by statewide holiday dedicated to Lay's. And the alphabetically challenged Venmo competitor that was forced to issue refunds to scam victims is Zell. So Lay Zell, another character. For question number four, the richest Titanic passenger to Pierce was a descendant of a real estate magnate, John Jacob Astor. 
And in genealogy, the three-letter time unit that is longer than an era that can last a half a billion years is an eon. So Aster Eon is your character for number four. For question number five, Daryl who sang Maneater and Monty who hosted Let's Make a Deal share the surname Hall. And the no good things that the Catholic Church separate into venial, mortal, and original varieties are sins. So Hall Sin. Another character for number five. For question number six, in order to achieve that extra 90 degrees of rotation, the bird that has seven extra vertebrae in his neck is the owl. And when cocaine is not available, the big mammals that are known to stalk helicopters because they love the smell of jet fuel, that's bears. And yes, owl bear is your character for number six. For question number seven, um, for 68% of the energy in the universe is mysterious stuff called dark energy. And in the 2000s, no one felt a compulsion to use the discontinued MTV music surface, Urge. So, Dark Urge. Maybe not so hidden, but also a character. And go watch the number eight. The five-letter city that is the capital of Belarus, and that would be Minsk. And in the 2000s, no one really felt a compulsion. Sorry, whoa. Uh, what is the shoutable nickname of the little girl in a Monsters, Inc.? That is Boo. That's Minsk Boo. And what do you get when you get Carlac, Shadowheart, Lazel, Asterion, Paulson, Owlbear's Dark Urge, and Minsk Boo? You, all the characters in this round have a connection to the fantasy city that's south of Waterdeep and north of Candledeep that has trouble always knocking at its door. That is Baldur's Gate. All right, we're going to head on over to the final round, and I'm going to scroll down so I can see this question. Can you dig it? It's the final round, and it's always random knowledge. I don't know. I have no jingles. Just so you know that even number questions are worth two through four points, and odd number questions are worth one. So let's get into it. Question number one is the following. There's some evidence that the lung disease, COPD, can be treated by playing what instrument featured in Shakira's Gypsy and Taylor Swift's Betty? Watch number one one more time. There's some evidence that the lung disease COPD can be treated by playing what instrument featured in Shakira's Gypsy and Taylor Swift's Betty. An old round down. <laughs> I like it. And that should be the new one. Like, it's the final round down. Anyway, moving on to question number two for two points. For one, your pinky draws a little hook, and in the other, you you trace three quick lines. That's the blueprint for what two American sign language letters that require you to move your hand around. I see what you did there, geeks. I see what you did there. Anyway, moving on to question number two one more time. In one, your pinky draws a little hook. In the other, you trace three quick lines. That's the blueprint for what two American Sign Language letters that require you to move your hand around. I see what you did there, geeks.
Move along to your favorite question of the night, the anagram question number three. Normally, we wouldn't care about an almost present 80th birthday, but we just discovered that what former Secretary of State anagrams to a horny jerk. I know, right? Or watch number three, oh, one more time. Normally, we wouldn't care about an almost president's 80th birthday. But we just discovered that oh, what former Secretary of State anagrams to horny jerk. And they were the first person I ever voted for president. Maybe if you know my age and when I turn the right age to be able to vote, maybe you know. Maybe you know. Moving on to question number four for three points. I'm going to name a pair of sidekicks. You name the Disney heroine. Your first set are Pua the pig and Hey Hey the chicken. Your next set is Con the horse and Cricky the cricket. And lastly, it's Miko the raccoon and Flit the hummingbird. For question number four, one more time, I'm giving you a pair of sidekicks. You named a Disney heroine. Who was a pig in Hey Hey the Chicken? Con the Horse in Cricky the Cricket. <clears throat> and lastly, Miko the Raccoon in Flit the Hummingbird. Um, R2VQ, I'm not going to give you that direct answer. I will, well, you'll know it when I read the answer, but I'm not going to give you that answer. I'm just going to tell you that I am a geriatric millennial. That's your only clue. Anyway, moving along to question number five. Bortles, last week, police charged a man with buying crypto, watches, gambling, and condos with $22 million stolen for what swampy 10th-ranked NFL team? For question number five, one more time. Bortles, last week, police charged a man with buying crypto, watches, gambling, and condos with $22 million stolen from what swampy 10th-ranked NFL team? <laughs> but there's no J in Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah, like this is like because because like yeah, it's a it's a good it's a good idea where my age range like fits in because it was the first time I voted for a president, but it wasn't the first time I voted ever. Though. All right, um, where was it? No, no, no. no I got, I got to check the dates on that one. Jake Jordals. <laughs> All right, moving on to question number six for three points. The singer Jose Carreras is probably the least a famous member of the three OLEDs. For your second point, the nation of Eastern Wu. It was the longest lived of China's three what? And comedian Curly Joe Dorita was the least famous and longest lived member of the three what? For question number six, one more time for three points. Hey, Jay Skeleton, thanks for the follow. Uh, singer Jose Carretas was probably the least famous member of the three what? The nation of Eastern Wu was the longest lived of China's three what? And comedian Curly Joe Dorita was the least famous and longest lived member of the three what?
it, is it the Three Musketeers bar? Is that what it is? Uh -uh. Anyway. <laughs> Early Jill Dorito. Y'all too funny. Anyway, your penultimate question on tonight's quiz. Question number seven. If you switch to a short pimple rubber and a shake hand grip to get extra top spin on your loop, then you're extremely into what high speed Olympic sport? Question number seven, one more time. If you switch to a long, sorry, a short pimple rubber and a shake hand grip to get extra top spin on your loop, then you're extremely into what high speed Olympic sport? <laughs> I did not know that people had such uh, strong feelings about nougat. So you're going to say nougat, none of that? I don't know. I guess so. My puns are bad. I'm not a good pun person. Although, I do want to go to an event. I don't know if they still have them, but pre-pandemic, there used to be an event at a bar locally called Pundemonium, and I want to go. But long pimples have better spin. Oh, my gosh. All righty, folks. For four points, you're going to tell me if it's a TV show about cops or a TV show about doctors. You can simply write cops or doctors. Your first show is The Rookie. Your next one is in New Amsterdam. Your third one is Under the Banner of Heaven. And lastly, this came out of me? Your question number eight, one more time. Is it a TV show about cops or a TV show about doctors? The Rookie, New Amsterdam, Under the Banner of Heaven, and this came out of me? Like, I know they're all phrased as questions, but I just want to think of it's not actually just, it's not actually phrased like a question, but it probably should be. <laughs> yeah i mean two of these shows like i i watched a lot of and well i guess one of them i stopped watching in like the fourth season it just kind of i just kind of grew out of it i was like i wasn't really into all the drama and yeah maybe i'll pick it back up who knows but the other one, it, it has one of, one of my favorite uh, Canadian actors that's in a lot of nerdy things. So, you know, you know, if you know, you know, if you know, you know, anyway, moving along to your bonus question, your final bonus question of the night. The Italian liquor Chinar gets its weird, bittersweet flavor from what vegetable that's named for its alleged ability to strangle out other garden plants? Wait, what? <laughs> Your bonus question one more time. The Italian liquor uh, Chinar gets its weird, bittersweet flavor from what vegetable named for its alleged ability to strangle out other garden plants so wait is this like the serial killer of plants or something like what what well maybe it might be a play on words and okay if it's a play on word that makes sense all right uh, uh otherwise that famous person that likes to cook food on um food network that likes to have a party i don't think we're having a party if that happens anyway that's a deep cut but she also won on uh, the food network star like one of those years anyway if you know who i'm talking about you know that was a very bad joke anyway we're moving along to your answers to round at number seven random knowledge what's the final round but why did they put that? Like, just put it the final round. Like, don't put it in touch. Anyway. Anyway, question number one. There is some evidence that the lung disease COPD can be treated by playing and what instrument featured in Shakira's Gypsy and Taylor Swift's Betty? That is a harmon harmonica. It should be a melodica, but you know. 
Anyway, moving on to question number two. For two points, one, and your pinky draws a little hook, like, and for the other, you trace three quick lines. That is the blueprint for what two American Sign Language letters that require you to move your hand around. The first one is J, and the other one is Z, because Jay-Z had an album called Blueprint. I saw what you did there, geeks. I don't know if they got it, though. I don't know if they got it, though. But I pick up. Anyway. Moving on to question number three. And normally, we wouldn't care about the almost president's 80th birthday, but the former secretary of state that anagrams the horny jerk is John Kerry. That's right. And I guess that was the first time I voted in an election because that was in 2004. And that's when I turned 18. So anyway, moving on to question number four for three points. I'll name a pair of sidekicks. You named the Disney heroine. Pua the pig and Hey Hey the chicken are from Moana. Khan the horse and Cricky the cricket are from Mulan or Fa Mulan. And Miko the raccoon and Flit the hummingbird are Pocahontas's. Uh sidekicks all right for question number five Bortles last week police charged a man for buying crypto watches gambling and condos with 22 million stolen from the Jacksonville Jaguars you uh no more like the Jamiroquai cannons <laughs> More question number six for three points. Singer Jose Carreras is probably the least famous member of the three tenors. The nation of Eastern Wu was the longest lived of China's three kingdoms or warring states. And lastly, the comedian Curly Joe Dorita was the least famous and longest lived member of the three stooges. All right, and for question number seven, if you switch to a short pimple rubber and a shake hand grip to get extra stops in on your loot, no, you're not trying to be better in bed. It's just an extremely, you're just extremely into table tennis. Although now I want somebody to make a condom and that's called a short pimple rubber. Because if you know, you know. Anyway, moving on to question number eight. For four points, you told me if it's a TV show about cops or doctors. The Rookie, starring um, Nathan Fillion. That's all about cops. That's my favorite nerdy Canadian. New Amsterdam. And that's all about the New Amsterdam Hospital in New York City. Under the Banner of Heaven. That's all about cops, y'all. And this came out of me. Like, it should be cops because they be saying some dumb shit. I'm kidding. It's about doctors, though. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> I've, been, I've been watching too many of these. Like, and, and I be getting gaslit by the the actual title cards for uh the but i watch too many like cop youtube videos of like people being like oh yeah you got an id no am i doing a crime right like oh like well you're being suspicious oh being suspicious is illegal like i've been watching way too many of those i don't know why anyway i digress your bonus question is the following uh the italian liqueur kainar is See, Chinar, she, Chinar. See, anyway, <laughs> this is a weird bittersweet flavor from one vegetable named for its alleged ability to strangle out other garden plants. That's an artichoke. It is great to see y'all. I'll catch y'all next time on the flip side of tomorrow. As always, don't forget to be awesome. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.